Hi guys, we have another FFC video for you today. I know it's been a while, but it's about time because we need a little bit of a rant and a little bit of a solution. So the rant is about seasonal foodie things. And the big one today is pumpkin. So we'll call it today the big pumpkin myth. So around this time of year when things start to get a little darker, a little colder, everything pumpkin busts out. Now, I don't need to pick on Starbucks because I love Starbucks, but Starbucks is going to be like my main rant today because everything you see is pumpkin and everything looks so good and so delicious and you want it because it's in your face all the time. And here's the thing, pumpkin doesn't taste good. It tastes gross. I mean, I, not to offend anybody who likes pumpkin, but it's really bland and tasteless. But there's this whole thing of how delicious pumpkin pie is, pumpkin drinks, pumpkins this, pumpkin that. And the only reason it tastes good is because they add so much bad stuff to it, like sugar and fat. So, for example, when you go to Starbucks and you get those little pumpkin muffins with the cream cheese in the middle, which are really good, they're about 360 calories. That's over a meal's worth. If you get the scones, same thing, they're about 340. What's even worse is the lattes. A grande, not that big, you can blow through it in no time. Pumpkin spice latte is 380 calories with 47, 47 grams of sugar, which is basically like a whole bunch of candy bars. And that's actually more than 10 times the amount of sugar you're supposed to have in one day, let alone in a city. What's even worse is there's no other nutritional value to it. So you drink that in no time and your blood sugar goes through the roof and then you crash and then you're hungry again in no time and then you have all these empty calories in your system. So don't be fooled by that. What we can do is make a couple good things with pumpkins that are easy to do. I mean, there's all kinds of healthy recipes, but in terms of something simple that you can make for a snack, I'm going to show you guys how to make protein pumpkin pudding, which is really easy. You can make it in less than five minutes. There's not a lot of like preparation involved, um, and it actually is just pumpkin. There's no sweeteners or anything like that. So I'm going to get a bowl and some spoons and I'll show you guys how to put it all together. Okay, so you only need a few ingredients for this pumpkin pudding. Um, I have pumpkin, which you can get from Trader Joe's. Really good quality, really cheap. Um, pumpkin, nothing added. Uh, some protein powder. You can pretty much use any kind, but vanilla would be pretty good. Um, this is birthday cake, which is really good. Uh, and it's from a company called About Time, which is only white isolate. So again, there's nothing added. No, there's only four ingredients. It's sweetened by stevia. So again, you're not adding any extra carbs or sugars or anything like that. A little bit of vanilla extract. And you can use cinnamon or pumpkin allspice. Either one. And then you can use um, coconut milk, which works really well, or vanilla almond milk. We don't have that right here, so you can, we're going to use a little bit of heavy whipping cream, but since this is really dense, we're just going to use a tiny bit and then use water to um, dilute it a bit. But you can use any kind of um, light milk substitute just to get the consistency you want. And depending on the amount you want and how thick it is, it's going to be anywhere from about 100 to 150 calories, which is going to fill you up way more. It's way better for you. This has tons of vitamin A in it, beta carotene. It is, even though it's a veggie and it's very healthy, it's, pumpkin is still a squash, so it's still a little starchy, so you don't want to just eat tons of it. Um, but the serving size is about half a cup, which is about 50 calories, so it's still going to fill you up pretty good. So you're going to take pumpkin, um, half a cup, into here. This, yeah, see, it's like baby food. Alright, so that's about half a cup's worth. Dump that in. And then add the uh, protein powder in, and about, I mean, scoops all depend, but if you do about 25 to 50 calories worth of the protein powder, you can start to stir that in for consistency, and then add in your cinnamon, just kind of sprinkle it, and then just a tiny little bit of the vanilla extract, just a couple drops. And then stir that all together. That's a lot of protein powder. This is going to be really thick. <laughs> but it'll fill you up, so it's good. <laughs> um, if you don't want... Actually, no. Never mind. It's good. Okay. And then, just get a little more pudding -y. Put a tiny bit of this in. Alright, it's about a tablespoon. 
Again, if you have something that's a little lighter, like the coconut milk or the almond milk, you can put a little more in. Um, and then, actually, you don't even need the water. And you're just going to kind of keep stirring it until it ends up in whatever consistency you want. And you can bring this on the go with you, which is really nice. You can put this in a Tupperware and it's not too messy. It's not too like, drippy or anything like that. Um, also, you want to can up, put the rest of the, the pumpkin right away in Tupperware. And there you go. That's it. See? Looks like pudding. And it's really, really, really good. And it's going to keep you full for a while. I mean, you could have this as a meal, but for this portion, it would be kind of more like a hearty snack. So we've got all the uh, got vegetables right here, and you've got your protein, so it has all the nutritional requirements you would need. And no sweeteners, so it's good for you. So no crash and no extra fat. So I hope you guys liked it. If there's any other type of food, easy on the go kind of snack recipes you want to see, just let us know. Shoot us an email at info at fitness, fitness, fitnessfightcamp.com. <laughs> all right. Hope you guys enjoyed.